Hi, Dean from Leisure Travel Van. Today we're having a look at the brand new Unity twin bed model, only 24 feet 7 inches long, and it is unbelievable with twin beds in the back. I'm just going to park it in my campground. We're going to have a look at this brand new 2013 right now. When we first introduced the Unity IB last year, we had tons of customer requests, and thank you very much, and they wanted a twin bed model. Well, bang, we did it, and we're going to have a look at this beauty. First, we're going to start on the outside, but I love it. It's built on the Mercedes-Benz 3500 series cab chassis, 188 horsepower, 325 foot-pounds of torque, and of course, it's on the Mercedes turbo diesel V6 motor, and this has got lots of power, and it gets incredible fuel economy. The unit is only 24 feet, 7 inches long, and it's only seven feet eight and a half inches wide so it's narrow you can park it anywhere you see how fast I put it in my campground area you can take it anywhere big city out in the Rocky Mountains down into Arizona big cities like New York Los Angeles it can go anywhere you want it to go let's have a look at this baby right now I love this chassis from Mercedes-Benz they have a lot of little cool hidden features and this one is a concealed locking fuel cap for your diesel fuel is this not cool so when you shut the door, it's locked. Ooh, listen to the sound of those doors. That's beautiful. The Unity is built on a vacuum bonded wall. It's curved, full fiberglass roof. Of course, we've got our sexy windows. We've got beautiful courtesy lights from getting in and out of the unit. And of course, optional side turn cameras so I can see what's beside me when I'm driving down the road, when I'm turning. Lots of storage areas. Of course, we've got a six gallon hot water tank, gas and electric. This is a great feature. The Mercedes-Benz, of course, is built on dual wheels with full fiberglass fender skirt. You can see here, we got our Continental tires underneath here. We haven't put our wheel simulators on yet. We do that once we ship the unit to our dealer. But dual wheels, very important, gives a nice stable ride when you're going down the road. Come on, look at the storage over here. Is this not unbelievable? Wow, look at this. Pass-through storage, way over here, golf clubs, skis, snowboards, fishing rods, you name it, the twin bed model can carry it. As you can see, we're at the back of the Unity twin bed model. Of course, we've got a full fiberglass mask. That's very important. I've been looking at a lot of other competition. They just put a FRP wall. This is a full molded fiberglass insulated mask, nice and strong, keeps the unit nice and warm in the wintertime, cool in the summertime. Of course, we've got our backup camera. We've got our 5,000 pound hitch with a seven pin connector for those of you that want to tow. And baby, this baby can tow. We're over on the patio side on our Unity twin bed model. Of course, look at the storage. There is another side of a pass through all the way through. We've got over 62 cubic feet of storage in there. More storage underneath here. Of course, we've got our optional LP or diesel generator. And of course, we've got an electric power awning. And I like this feature because we have the switch outside. So I always know where my awning is. If you need a unit that needs lots of storage space, this is the one. Look at this, more storage. Plus, we've got our outside entertainment center. The bedroom TV flips up, drops outside for tailgating parties. Watch your favorite NHL team or NFL team. More storage up front. And of course, we do three exterior colors on the Unity. We have our blue, we have our new Mocha for 2013, and of course, traditional Mercedes-Benz silver, and it looks great. Hey, let's go have a look inside the unit right now. Well, let's go inside the brand new Unity twin bed model. Power step, of course, screen door, and of course, look at this, easy access to my batteries. Oh, I really like that. We're in the cockpit of the Unity twin bed model and of course it's on the Mercedes-Benz 3500 series cutaway chassis it's got the Mercedes-Benz V6 diesel motor 188 horsepower 325 foot-pounds of torque I mean this is one unbelievable chassis look at the panoramic view I have of my campground area or when I'm driving down the road it is unbelievable lots of headroom I really like it if you're tall you're gonna love the Sprinter Mercedes-Benz chassis of course it's got all the great features tilt steering telescopic it's got air conditioning it's got of course power windows power locks and of course for 2013 we've got our seven inch sony gps 
Bluetooth system and it's got streaming Bluetooth so my Apple phone will automatically download all my songs, all my contacts right there. And of course I've got my Bluetooth for talking. It's got of course a navigation system built right into the dash system which is great. It's got lots of places for coffee cups here, down here, here, over there, which I like when I'm driving. And it's got, of course, the Mercedes-Benz five-speed automatic transmission. This is one unbelievable unit. And of course, as you can see, we've got our swivel Mercedes-Benz seats. Of course, we redo them all in beautiful ultra leather. You have to feel this to believe this. Hey, let's have a look at the rest of the coach. I love all the attention to detail that Leisure Travel Van does in all of their units. Here's a great little safety feature, a rubber back the carpet here, this is a removable carpet, easy for cleaning, but when you're moving front and back, it can be a little slippery. With the rubber on the back, the carpet stays down. What a great feature. Look how much room we have in this twin bed model. Now this is only one size bigger than a standard van. This is one step up, non-slide, but look, we can have lots of room. We can have dinner for four, which I'm gonna show you in a second. We have lots of room inside. I just wanna show you how easy it is to go from nothing into a dining room, and then we're gonna make it into a bed area. It's a multi-purpose room. We store the table legs underneath the, one of the twin beds at the back, and listen to this. Now that is well done. Most table legs, they just kind of flop and wobble. These ones don't move at all. Now we just put the table on top. We store the table under the other twin bed model, bring the twin, bring the table out and drop it into place. And it's even got leafs on both sides. So you can move it up, move it down. Man, this is beautiful. Dinner for four, you can play cards. It really is a multifunctional area. Plus, it's gonna make into a bed. Let me show you how that does it right now. This is going to be one of the easiest beds you've ever had to make up in an RV. We have our second set of cones we put down, and we put the table base down on top of it, and we put the cushions together and make it into a bed. Let me show you how that works. Then we just drop the table base in place, and you can see here we've got some little edging to give it lots of strength. And then we just bring our cushions together, and we've got a super single bed. And as you all know, I'm well over six feet tall, and I got... Lots of room here. Great super single bed. In case you have company, guests, grandchildren, kids, whatever, place to sleep. We're over in the galley area now and you can see we have a really big galley for a 24 foot motorhome. It's got all the great features, of course, look at this. Curved solid wood doors, double struts on the doors. Well, I could never get bored with that. Those are all solid. Of course, we got our private collection Corian countertops two burner spark ignition stove. Look at this beautiful deep sink. And of course a cutting board on the back side of it. That's good thinking. Pull out faucet. And of course, look at this little recessed garbage can. Very well done. Built in spice rack. Of course, we've got LED lighting all the way underneath the cabinets. And of course we have a beautiful new dimmer switch for 2013 for mood setting. And of course, look at this full door extension glides all the way out, we've got reverse curved doors. Man, you don't see that in $400,000 motorhomes. Unbelievable, of course, we've got our lino flooring. This is exclusive to leisure travel vans, plank look, and it goes out through the entire coach. More storage over here, solid wood doors, European hinges, listen to the way they close. That is solid. Pull out pantry, wow, that's unbelievable, and of course, our beautiful pull-out 26-inch LCD TV. Now that's a winner. On the other side of our galley, of course, we've got our Dometic 6.4, seven cubic foot, three-way fridge. The freezer is easily removable. It makes into a seven cubic foot fridge. Now that is very nice if you're day camping, going for day trips, carry some extra drinks with you. And of course, it's three-way fridge, so it's 12 volt. 110 and propane. And of course, we've got our convection microwave. Easy access, a little storage up above here. Man, if we loved all the exterior storage, look at all the interior storage. Look at these cabinets. Big cabinets, deep cabinets up above the cab area. Of course, all done with European hinges, double struts so the door doesn't hit you in the head. I love the way they lock in place. More over here. As you can see, we've got reading lights. Of course, we've got our service center right above the entrance door. We've got a brand new LED light, so it lights up at nighttime so you can see all your control center. Here's our Dometic thermostat. Of 
course, we've got a brand new 15,000 BTU air conditioner with heat pump, 16,000 BTU furnace. It's all automatically controlled right here. We have our optional stabilizer jacks that one button knocks them up and knocks them down. We've got a 600 watt inverter. We've also got our little control center for our batteries, fresh water, gray water, black and propane, water tank, and of course our pump. And of course we've got our optional generator, either propane and or diesel, whichever one you wanna go with, with an hour meter, which is very, very nice. Let's have a look at the rest of the coach. One thing I love about all the design guys at Leisure Travel Vans, they really take bathrooms into account. Most RVs do not have the best bathrooms, but it seems like in Leisure Travel Vans, they all have great bathrooms. And here's another example on our twin bed model. What a great bathroom this is. We've got a beautiful curved door. Wow, that is nice. And it's a big bathroom for a small coach. Of course, we've got our Corian countertop, stainless steel sink. Lots of room in here, of course. A little medicine cabinet up here. Exhaust fan. And of course, look at this. Unbelievable. This is a macerator toilet. You see these in big yachts. Of course, it's a china toilet. And it's a macerator, so it turns up all the solids and then shoots them into your black tank, so you're going to have more life in your black tank. That's a very, very nice feature on the twin bed model. So what's the sense in having an RV if you can't have a stand-up shower? Well, this one's got it. Look at this. Nice privacy, solid door. Got a place here for a dressing mirror. But look at the size of this shower. Nice big shower area. Blocks off. I'm well over six foot two with my shoes on. And as you can see, I've got lots of room. Got a beautiful skylight. Now this is a shower. And the other great thing is it's actually got a shower door. How perfect is that? Now this is one great bedroom area. Of course, look at this. LED lighting, floor lighting. Ooh, very nice. But look at this. Look at the cabinets. Storage beyond belief. More storage. It's really unbelievable. You can take your entire house with you. Oh, we need a hanging closet? We have one. Perfect. Plus, look at this. Either two twin beds, or you can make it into one unbelievable king-size bed. It is unbelievable. Let me show you how we go from twins to king. Since we're still talking about storage, let me show you all the storage that's underneath the bed areas. Of course, look at this. Look at this. Wow. How about underneath the mattress? Yes. Perfect. How about this side? Even more storage. It's where your table stays down. Perfect. Plus, look at this. Drawers. Full drawer extension glides, all solid wood. Tons of storage area. Now, let's talk about the bed areas. Let me show you how easy it is to go from two beautiful twin beds into one gigantic 86 inch wide bed. That's actually wider than a king bed. Let me show you right now how to do it. Once again, our design guys have done a fabulous job at Leisure Travel Vans. Look how easy this is. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Platform, and of course, slide in the mattresses. Number one, number two, they sit down underneath the bed area. Look at that. One beautiful 86 inch huge bed. And I can sleep any which way I want. I can sleep over here. I can sleep over here. Oh no, I want to sleep this way. No, I want to sleep over here. It doesn't matter. I can sleep anywhere I want. Plus, I've got a beautiful 22 inch LED TV that I can watch TV in. Now this is a bedroom. The new 2013 Leisure Travel Van Unity Twin Bed model is a beautiful coach. I love the little subtle things that we've done. As a matter of fact, I've been in a lot of twin bed models that are very high. This has got a nice low beds, so it's easy to get in and out of. We've got a step to get down into the, into the galley area, into the main coach. If you're looking for a coach that has tons of exterior storage, tons of interior storage. It's a non-slide. It's one size bigger than a van. It's pin quiet when you drive down the road. Vacuum bonded walls. This is the model for you. It can sleep three people. Of course, with the twin bed, you could probably sleep a lot more because it makes into one big king bed, which is really neat. Removable TV outside for entertaining. This motorhome has everything you could possibly want. You have to go and see it in person at one of your leisure travel van dealers. Give us a call at the factory. Send us an email. If you have any questions at all, we're here to help you. Dean from Leisure Travel Vans.